All right, guys, here we're going to talk about the movie Street Fighter. 1994 Street Fighter, Lee. Had you seen it before? Of course. I had a feel. It's the Street Fighter. It certainly is. So uh, were you a big game player? Did you like the Street Fighter I game? love Street Fighter. Now, if you had to compare the game to the movie, what's better? The game. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> I think the movie is vastly superior to the game. Uh, the movie's very different, and uh, if you like that instead, that's fine, but you're just picking between two things that have nothing in common. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's fine. No, no, no. The, like, I like the movie in its own way, but I think that as a video game movie, mm. it is very bad. And, I don't uh, think there are any video game movies that are thing. particularly fantastic. Uh, I will say that this is one of the best ones, <laughs> in, no, no, no. In, in, like, my, uh, in my opinion. The final product has good things about it, mm -hmm. but for example, Mortal Kombat captures a lot more things from that game series and puts sure. it into the movie no, about not, the game. Not, not, a, right? not so, yes. an argument. I love I loved yeah. the both of them. I would say the reason I like this better than the game is I think I watched this more times and got more joy overall in my childhood from the movie sure. than I did from the game, which violently frustrated me. And I think I think before oh. there was like rage quitting in a game, that game would induce you that. Broke in controllers? Me. Were you a never? Scrub? Never did I break a controller <laughs> because we were too poor, and that would have been uh, mm. detrimental you to my life. You could restrain yourself <clears throat> enough. Not. To oh yes, that. you broke okay. other things. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you're a scrub. You couldn't get good, and you held a grudge. Oh yeah, forever. Never, yeah. never played no, like fighting games, and that oh. was my first encounter. Like I think Street Fighter, and then it was Mortal Kombat, and uh, mm. just. I played Did in the not <laughs> grasp the concept. I played in like the fake arcade for a bit, and I and and we were into fighting games for a little while on like the Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. and then years later we'd like revisit that in in, in in like a different context. I've always had a thing. I'm not good at them. But <laughs> I've always had a thing with fighting games. Um, I'm not gonna hold like a huge grudge that it's not enough like the game or mm -hmm. something, but it's epically disappointing when you're waiting for things that are cool to happen that don't happen because the movie's like we don't want to do that. Right. There, there so, were some so payoffs and things that we'll talk about when we get over There's to so the actual stuff there. There's so much to get into, there. yes, in spoiler. But uh, in the non-spoiler section of this talk here, uh, I would say yes, if you haven't seen this, it's definitely worth watching. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely crowned a so bad it's good type of a movie. I yeah. think it is, it is just a fun nostalgia trip. Uh, but if you've not seen it, it is just a movie that I think you'll enjoy. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, definitely. But uh, again, as a video game movie, I think it is like epically disappointing. Yeah. And I can't wait to argue about it. Sure. All right, guys, so if you've seen or don't care, fall over to spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video, and we eat the competition. All right, guys, here we are for the spoilers of Street Fighter. So, Lee, let me hear them spoiler-filled thoughts. Yeah, I mean, let me just for a moment get this out of the way, because I feel like you're not interested at all in discussing this, but a movie actually about Street Fighter could have been very cool. And I feel like this is like one of the worst, like they just read the Wikipedia page, they just got like a printout of like, he's green, and they, and they just made, it, 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 it like reminded me of the Dragon Ball movie, where someone was just like, I don't know, whatever, we'll just, mm. we'll just try to work in the elements, I guess, but it's really just some other script that we like, you know, gave a, a like paint job of Street Fighter. I don't yeah. get that exact impression. So like, yeah. and while I'll say that is because from Street Fighter 2, which is what this would have been, yeah. like, you know, the only information they would have had leading into this movie, like, what plot would there really have been other than just doing oh, a not tournament? The, not the plot, the cool stuff. There's no, oh. there's no Hadoukens, there's no, like, like There's like, a reason for powers. that. Like, yeah, but that's that's why I'm, I'm going to be like, yeah, F this movie. The director was super yeah. mad that it wasn't in the movie, actually. Yeah. It, it, they got split into two units because they were cut for a lot of time, yeah. and all that... Like all the action stuff got filmed in a weird like honestly the action for an action movie is probably some of the weakest points of yeah. the film because of uh, Raul Julia had had cancer and, and, and like usually they would film all the dialogue scenes first and then they would film the action so that people would have like you know Context months for what they were to well they would have months of time to, to practice sure. and learn these things but because Raul Julia was so sick uh, coming into the movie he was so gaunt that they filmed the action sequences from a distance first so that they could film him because he, he couldn't appear in close-ups because he was so skinny. Jesus. He just looked very like, he literally came off of, like he, they ended his, his uh, round of ke chemotherapy and he went like right to filming this. That's horrible. Yeah. Honestly, cast someone else then, I'm sorry. I, like, no, I, I, no, I feel no. like listen, you, listen. he was the I, only good part. I, yeah, I'm a huge fan of him, but like that, like if that was the reason why the rest of the movie is bad, like like pick your battles here. What are we doing? Well, that definitely yeah. hurt the movie for sure. Yeah. But it seemed like there were a number of reasons this movie like couldn't be as good as it wanted to. No, no, and like at the um, end of the day, Van Damme yeah. being addicted to cocaine. 
Payne and dating well, Kylie Minogue or having an affair with her or whatever. Okay. So uh, like, listen, if like, obviously there's a point where, hey, if it was never going to be that good, at, you know, at, at least settle for this uh, lunacy mm-hmm. or something. And yes, but I, but I can't rank it as highly as if it was a Street Fighter movie. I would have been yeah. like, wow. So the whole time, like, you know, Dalzim, like my favorite character. Blanca, second favorite character. Uh-huh. They get such shaft in this movie. They're not them at all. And like, I was still hoping for things that I know are not are not in there, uh-huh. right? Like 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 uh, Dalzim gets like doused with chemicals, and I'm yeah. like, oh, he's gonna turn into him, and he but does. Like, but but he doesn't do any of his stuff. He never I fights. I think that he all would have been do. in the next movie. I know because they set up they set up yes. the sequel at the end of the yes. movie where like you know he he punches through. He's I'm alive. The solar panels have recharged recharged yes, him. Yes. It Bryce says like alive, like yes. replay. <laughs> what is your menu choice for today? And little like, uh, nods to yeah. the game, but it, it has that same Dragon Ball quality where like they're like, oh, they'll love this crap. Where it's like, oh, you know, you know, Blanca's not like electric, but there'll be little sparks going off when he's transforming. So your brain's like, oh, electricity. I remember that, right? Yeah, that was so insulting. And I was so pissed the whole time. I Which, thought they did a yeah. decent job of of shoving in things. Like I really yeah. do like they'll seem like 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 because he has these chains on him and his neck and like yes. like okay and that is like you know part of his costume. Oh no, yeah, you when his love hair like stuff. melts yeah. away, I'm like okay, that was cool looking to have him turn into what he's gonna yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. like little little like things like that, I thought were fun. Yeah. The Easter egg I didn't care for was how his like command like floating chair thing has like the Street Fighter controls on oh, it. Oh god, I was like that's kind of lame and cringe. I wanted to that that was probably one of the moments where I was like okay, this is you're making fun of me now. You're uh-huh. not just like not doing it right you're actually like insulting yeah. me whatever but yes. like with who the movie's yes. for and at the time I think that was just the right amount of like cheek that it was no, okay no no like it's a fun crazy thing but I'm like mm. I'm of two minds is my point so I will, yeah, yeah. I, I will from now on abandon it but let's just say like yes like like Honda does like a little bit of his thousand hand slap maneuver <laughs> And it's like gross. I think they have Zangief like spin around a little, but it's like not. It's like gross. Like like nothing Z- was good. Zangief, yeah. I thought like the casting across the board okay, okay, okay. and yeah. and the but costuming, on, I thought yes. was superb. Now you look like bison troopers. Right. So if we go to like the other side now, where mm-hmm. I'm not sure, because there should be like 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 dragon things and like and like Hadouken things. Yeah. You know, Chun Li has her own little Hadouken thing. Guile has a sonic boom thing. You could have given him some weird techno sonic boom or yeah, some dumb it, thing. Yeah. It seemed like the nothing. second unit director yeah. was more concerned with making things realistic than he was. Like, it seems like he, he did was not more know with what ruining my childhood. Well, I think I think part of that too, just but with how strict of a like a, a weird deadline they had, because they wanted this to, the game Street Fighter the movie the game game came out in like December so like right for Christmas I didn't even know that existed and this yeah well, all the characters in this are modeled Fuck. like a Street Fighter game no one into in, that game no one in the FGC community has has ever talked about that game yeah. even as a joke I saw so some I have no behind idea. the scenes of them like <laughs> yeah. like doing their characters that's like, really oh, funny oh that's pretty cool so it had that photorealistic yes. uh, Mortal Kombat like, quality wow I have to go look that up I didn't even know that existed that, that's terrifying <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, they had a hard out where like this has to be done in yeah. one year and like when they gave him that deadline it was like you have to write the script you have to cast yeah. you have to find locations to shoot edit it, it has, you have one year and that's like that's a really tight fucking deadline. Now, like, I, and they were not I don't, budging on it. I don't know the timeline, and I'm not sure when like the anime or the manga like came out. But like, uh-huh. there is stuff for this. Yeah. At, at least now, I don't know if they would have had it then to do or something. Uh, but as like even, in a similar timeline, I remember even, watching the cartoon. Okay, right. Yeah. So even just from the game, I feel like this was a huge departure and everything. Mm-hmm. Where again, they could have just like, like you know like we say for everything else, you could have just taken something that was already there and done it. Well, the, and, like, the cartoon is but uh, yeah. is. Almost on par with this. I like, have no idea what the cartoon. The cartoon no, no. is they are a, a unit called yeah. Street Fighter. They work oh, for no. the American military. It, 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 Leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighter. There was like an anime that stays true to like the mystical, like he has the bison force or something. Mm. Like there's all this. Stuff. I don't, I don't like, recall like, enough to know if that was. I didn't there. know a lot of that stuff at the time. And I was just a game player at the mm-hmm. time and everything. And again, I, will, I, I am now officially over my disappointment with them not doing anything that I wanted them to do. Uh-huh. And we can talk about this silly action movie that happens to be named Street Fighter, yeah. if you'd like. <laughs> my biggest like thing were like, and I don't know if it's in my mind. Like, you know, like it, this is like my biggest Mandela moment for this Ooh, movie is we love those. There's there's a part where um where Guile is is like getting like in the interview with Chun Li and, and like he's like he's like ah and he goes like this and like he like you know like flips oh. off like the camera. Like, so look at this. Like yeah. like like a few bison. No disrespect I know, bison. I know you're watching this. Yeah. And I remember a thing where 
he goes, I believe in this. And he points to his, his, his like, he has like a tattoo of the American flag. And I was trying to find him like, is it in deleted scenes? Is that somewhere <laughs> like sometimes the deleted scenes from a movie get put into the TV showing of the movie because yeah. they need to, to stretch time and stuff. No, like, like, and I couldn't you, find it. You saying that has created that memory in my mind. Yeah. But I don't know if it's real or not. But so, it's, it's kind of like the like the you know like the Luke I am your father thing where I'm, I'm like oh well he does go like this I'm like maybe that's what your little brain thought of and and is like you know whatever his uh, his do, Brussels mush mouth you do prominently see yeah, the tattoo that, at, as at well, one point right? yeah. yeah sure at, at, at like a different point yeah, yeah. different not at yeah, that yeah, point yeah exactly but I, I have this so if, well, like and I thing bring from it up Starship Troopers where he says we do this with our tattoos on the, in, in the same place could you have could you have crossed the wires I don't believe so because uh -huh. I, I when people would bring up <laughs> when people would bring up Street Fighter I would always go I'm leaving this and people would no one ever went like They'd what like, the hell are you doing this guy. so like I, I don't know, people in the comments, if anyone has any memory of I believe in this and him pointing at his, his like yeah. odd American flag tattoo when I, I, I there's no evidence of it. I, I tried Googling. I, I got a Casper Van Dien vibe of, you know, off of him in, in this too. So in I was like, this? Oh, he must mm. love this, yeah. There's certain close-ups when he's not talking because uh -huh. he should not talk. Now, are you the same as Sagat and Bison? Or am I right and you're different? Uh, I forgot. Maybe maybe all Van Damme movies are like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the adulterous coke addiction that you mentioned. I don't know. He's going through but, ten uh, grand of coke a week. Uh, is that a lot? That's a lot of coke. That's nothing. For me, that's Tuesday. <laughs> the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. No, I, I, like he totally sucks in this. Every, every every line that he delivers is, and like it's funny, so it's good. Yeah. But he's horrible. Twenty billion dollars. What will prevent him from taking more hostages next month and asking for fifty billion, one hundred billion? It, like it, it adds talk. to the whole mystique yeah. of it. It's, yeah, he's he's very uh, like not that you can't understand him, but it, it is it is like a. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I, like it's one of those ones where you process it a moment after he says yes. it, and you're not getting it as he's saying it. Like I'm reading the subtitles or yes, something. Yes, because very the way, strange. And it, and it's all his his like delivery, and because mm -hmm. he seems dubbed by yeah. b by someone on coke, which is technically true. If Sagat runs guns to Bison, then he's got to know where Bison is hiding. All we have to do is to infiltrate someone. Uh, and and to have him play Guile then, who's yeah. like an American soldier man, yeah. right? Where he's got this crazy accent and crazy everything is crazy. Because yeah. there's other roles in the cast for a martial artist of uh, of a certain persuasion. Why for not sure. just put shove him into one of those? Yeah. It's, it's insane to me. But hey, whatever, we got it. No, like you know, they, most of the budget went to getting him. him yeah. uh, I think he was eight million of the thirty-five million dollar budget. Crikey. And then once you got Raul Julia, they said there was almost no money left for casting. Uh, ah. And I, I would say that every penny was worth it. Raul Julia, this, and yes. like, I'm a big fan of his in general. Like, yeah. and he's like an Academy Award winning actor. And I think this is his best role. No, like, like, he I love is the... this movie. Every nation, until the very planet is in the loving grip of the Pax Bisonica. I love him as like, uh, you know, Gomez, obviously, right? Of course. And this was the thing where I was like, l l like, yes, for me as a kid, this like made it and mm -hmm. everything. So I agree on that one, definitely. Yeah. It's very and like, good that he's- Watching it, you would never know yeah. he was dying of stomach no, cancer, yeah. like it's at all. Like that was something I didn't learn until I was an adult. Yeah. And and like, you know, he did this movie for his kids because the script came across his desk and his kids were probably like like five and seven or something oh, at the time. Mm -hmm. And like, like they were big Street Fighter fans. Oh. And and he's like, he's like, well, my kids lit up. They didn't. They, that I've, I had this idea and he was like, well, I have to do this. And this was the last thing he did was this thing for his kids. And I'm like, that's super nice. Like, I'm sorry, I know I said I was dumb, but I, I just picture his kids in the theater crying and then getting angry. Like, this is not Street Fighter. I'm like, it's awesome. <laughs> no, I think events. the way, I'm joking. The way he I'm joking. presents I'm joking. himself it's in wonderful. there and like yes. how he approached this character, it's yeah. like so good. Yeah, this is a very fun it's, thing. It's yeah. not hammy per se. It is like, very hammy, per se. I, I would say it's, it's taken almost like too serious. Like it's yeah. it's so serious that it wraps around. Like yeah. it wasn't. It, he's not approaching it like a joke. Like no, no. He's he he he's very earnestly doing this ridiculous exactly. thing. Exactly. What makes it? He like, he modeled after like stuff. like Henry the Third and stop. Like he like oh my oh, mannerisms yeah. are him and my, this yeah. is that and oh and the art direction of Hitler. Like he had all these things you, where he were, approached it so were seriously. Were you saying Stalin? Because I got Stalin vibes. Stalin was the hand movements. I think it's just interesting. Yeah. I don't know Stalin's hand movements, but I was still I was like ooh yeah this is. 
he's like said he, he he like like really studied for like because he's a fucking actor. He's like a real ass actor so pro, in this movie where like everyone else is like, ah, I'm making a thing. <laughs> everyone else is like, I'm a stunt man. They usually don't let me talk. <laughs> and, yeah. and then Raul Julia walks in with like notes uh-huh. and his little gla- glasses on, doing stuff. Yeah, it's great. Pasando eso porque nosotros mismo. it's it's it's. Oh. <laughs> I beheld Satan, and he fell from heaven like lightning! Uh, okay, so like people that stand out to me like visually here, uh, and for maybe bad, the guy that played, what, what's the character's name, Balrog? What's the cameraman's name? Yeah, the boxer, name? yeah, yeah Balrog. That like, just so cartoonish. Oh! <laughs> Where are those hostages? Yes, and he's the only one that is really like that. Like, like yeah. Zangief. Yes, yeah. he, he's like he's like a cartoon character. But based on how that man acts, it's like, oh, he he like he he kills it. Yeah. And I don't know that guy from many things. He was in like Necessary Roughness, and he played Agent Butterfingers in Hudson Hawk. <laughs> which I fucking love, and I know most people hate it, but he's great in that, he's great in this. And, I actually uh, thought of that when I, w- when I looked into people, I noticed uh, certain stuff, and I'm like, oh, this guy was in Hudson Hawk. Stephen's gonna love this guy. This is great. He's no, no, perfect no. Yeah. in the very I, few yeah. things he has done. I think that the choice to like give certain things character like that mm-hmm. is great, and I think making him an idiot's wonderful. It comes off like a Bond villain, almost like an Austin Powers-y vibe, and yeah. I love when he's like, quick, change the channel! <laughs> Change the channel. Yeah, like I was like, because I I'd forgotten all about that joke, and it's a wonderful joke. Uh, it, it's been it's you guys are getting paid. Like, oh. might be the first time I heard that joke. Why do you serve him? Because he paid me a freaking fortune, you moron. You got paid. That joke mm-hmm. is in like a million things now. Yeah, but whatever. like, and I'm not saying that was the first one, but that's the first time I heard that yeah, joke. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and and. Just he delivers like, the the change of channel though. That's that's yeah. one of the best lines. Uh, they do like a racist uh, like anime Godzilla fight thing. Oh they my god! They happen to have the two Asian characters suddenly speaking Japanese for no reason. You get that. Hi. Chinese, I think. But Chinese, go, whatever. Go off, King. Well, I, I thought oh, it was Japanese. Be, you know, it's, actually, it's actually, I don't know. I'm just maybe projecting from all the modern Chinese we have hmm. in movies today. I don't even know. Listen, forget yeah. me. But yes, and then to have and like not not to just dub in the the, 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 the Godzilla roar once, but yeah. it's just the person's hammering yes, on the Godzilla yes. button. It's really dumb. <laughs> Yeah, the, it it should have been in there once as they were falling as like a weird like that yeah. noise could have been anything. That's, was that that? That's funny, right? No, that, that's no. on purpose. It, it became like too much and not funny. Mm-hmm. This is when ha, you know Honda's fighting. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, is that, is I like that Honda. I like that character. Yeah, um, that's a famous thing that I will. Well, famous to me. I, I sure. shouldn't try to project anything, but yeah, uh, you know his whole life. My my mind can be in one place, my body another. My body can be in one place, my mind another. Next time your mind leaves, tell to bring back pizza. That's like yeah. a famous thing that I've like thought back to at, at like various points. Oh yeah, yeah. as, as the guy's just uh, breaking whip after yeah. whip over his back. <laughs> I love the idea of the of the like you know torture guy getting frustrated and going off to like look for I mean maybe, maybe I could use this yeah. and all that like that's a that's a nice funny that's campy like you know Princess Bride or other stuff mm-hmm. like that that I would have been like as a kid like I get this I understand the you know the vibe you're going for here it's a cool. lot of things for a time crunch and all that jazz going on I thought the sets were really fun there's yeah. lots of locations things are really done together there's not like a part where I'm like, I'm like oh yeah this is just slapped together like no, a lot of it fine. seems really yeah. well and polished for like knowing how much shit was going on behind yeah, the scenes know, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah re- real real fun stuff. The, the, these casts, like, oh man. Just I love the, the fight between Chun Li and uh, and Bison. Oh, I yeah. think like things <laughs> Like that, we're like, okay, because and he refused to not do his own stunts too. Oh and no! Like, this guy who, like, you know, is 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 like so ill, is doing all this stuff. He's up okay. on wires. He's doing things. 
<laughs> I, 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 I love that fight with uh, Chun Li, uh, her whole like turnabout thing, but just yeah. the setup where he goes behind the partition and you see yeah. his like gauntlets and armor like flipping over yeah. as he's changing into his like casual bison yeah. wear, stuff like that. I, 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 I would have loved and I still do. It's great that you know, like you know, that stuff's wonderful. And then the like childlike happiness on his face when he's behind the barrier yes. and the gas starts coming. And he's just like, oh, ho, ho. he's like so into That's it. That's the only weak part for me. I love it so much. Barrier itself is that like yeah. it, they they could have made it an inch bigger and there wouldn't have been an open seam between the side and I'm like it's gas Mo it's not airtight movie magic my friend mm. don't worry about those things defeated the magic <laughs> but yeah they all get gassed I think that's cool yeah no I mean stuff like that just because again like that was the like later when I would see Austin Powers mm -hmm. this would add to my you know like like in my brain these are in the same filing cabinet yeah because this is like a like ridiculous volcano lair and my thing it's this dumb mm -hmm. I will for 20 billion dollars right he has a yeah. weird you know it, and they're willing it has to pay which is, is crazy yeah. moments from the deadline set by General M. Bison for the delivery of the 20 billion dollar ransom he has demanded for the hostages he has them in like, I don't know what that is, like a missile silo yes. or something that's just like, like closes off. Like it would be like the pit to death to fight over if you were in Flash Gordon. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it. I very, don't know what yeah, it is. Very, you know, very, you know, very campy Bondy sort of thing where it's like closing very slowly mm -hmm. and there's always something, someone always falls onto the doors or does a thing, right? Yeah. Well, as it's happening. I did like his thing where I he think. is not only like the smart tactician type of leader, he is also a frontline fighter type of leader. Like yes. the three well, captured soldiers, he's like, he's like, you came here to fight me. Come on, fight. And see what you and just like kills them almost it's, instantly. It's you came from across the world to fight me, soldier. Stand clear. Now is your chance. It's very funny how he breaks their neck, though. Yeah. I, I forget, oh, what's the skit? Is it like Mad TV with Steven Seagal or something? There's a skit like that where he's just like, come at me. And he just like, like grabs their neck and they just fall down dead no matter what he does to them. <laughs> Oh. But that, but that's funny. That's like fun. Mm -hmm. And then when you find out he has like, like you said, he's on wires at the end. There's all this stuff. Yeah. It levitates me, and he does the thing, and yes. he has like techno fighting, you know, electromagnetism, and doing all these. I like things. that. Yes. There's even a moment where it kind of reminds me of Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. like when he's on his little flying like chair thing, yeah. and like you have like a guile underneath him. I'm like, yeah, it's it's like when Mario's hanging on top, and you got Koopa in the bucket, like, yeah. Even visual tone wise, like I get a thing like that. The, the early 90s had this like amazing, like, you know, just a look to it where like everything felt realer than real because everything was built out and fun and we put money and attention to details. One might say surreal. Yeah. Or like hyper real. It's, the, the like, you know, world made of candy that we often yeah. cite in these things. Yes. Well, because there's, 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 there's no that. CG, there's no bullshit really like across <laughs> the way. There's, there's like a few there's things here things, and there. Yes. But by and large, things are just happening and I love that. How many children have you orphaned? <gasps> you will uh, Vega always stood out to me as a real fun character. Yeah. I liked him. I always forget the eye patch guy's name. Um, Sagat. Sagat. I, I liked him too. His, he has one of the better lines in the movie where he's like, he's like, he retired and became me. The greatest cage fighter since Iron Fist. Oh yeah, what happened to him? He retired and became me. Yeah, some of that too, where it's like weaving in all the characters, that kind of mm -hmm. makes sense. I like that. I like the, their signature things or whatever coming into play. Yeah. And I like that that a lot of people, not everyone, to the to the extent that I would like, but people get get fight scenes, right? Mm -hmm. Those fight scenes may not, uh, you know, involve all the things that I would like them to have in them, but they all get to do something. Because sometimes you're like, oh, you just got an actor to play that role. That's cheating, right? Whereas now people got to fight. Uh, you know, Kylie Minogue is like throwing kicks and yeah. stuff. That's really cool. Which I assume is just her dancing background or something. Probably. Right? I, she's kicking like above her head, and I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Definitely did not realize that was her until no. looking at it this time. Hell I was no. like, wait a minute, what? I still don't know it's her. Because she's in, like, <laughs> two, like now, I still don't know it's her. I was so shocked to see her name. Because she was famous I'm like, then. I'm like, I guess I don't know who Kylie Minogue is. So, yeah. vis a vis, the one. She's, she's been Fine. famous for quite some time. Yeah. She had like, I think seven albums at this point or something Come like that. Come on baby, do the locomotion. So she was- uh, I should have known her. She was um, like, you know, buying like out the bar during the filming because like, oh, it's a rough set. Here I rented this this club and rented drinks are thing. on me. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, okay. And apparently had an affair with, with Jean-Claude Van Damme, Listen. which is, is interesting. I'm not sure on the affair, which end it was happening. I don't know who was married or who wasn't or whatever. Right, yeah. I, well. I'll never forgive her for not uh, curing Robert Julia's cancer. Have you lost your mind? No. 
You've lost your balls. It's weird because like he was cleared like like and I don't want to talk about his cancer as much, but like right. he came back from like like he oh. had finished his thing, went through this movie, and I guess it just came back and he died. Yeah, shit happens, definitely. Yeah, before it even got released. So like within that year, that's fucking rough. Well, because they were able to add the four Raul, and I'm like, oh. yeah. No. Bison, that's the character I play. Bison is the king of the bad guys. Your turn now. Yeah. It is funny, people's last movies. What's Tim Curry's gonna be? Probably a voice in Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay, because he's still doing some stuff? Yeah. Because I know he had a massive stroke and he can't like do Yeah, I don't know what his last anymore. acting thing was, yeah. but his voice acting things are still going as far as I know. But enough of this minor magic. I want to see how powerful I can really be. Sean Connery's was something funny too. That was League of Extraordinary Extra Gentlemen. Yeah, where like you and I like that, but like most people- I didn't people, like it then. Most people are like, what a sad career I, that's, choice. I almost yeah. walked out of the theater on that movie. I know. And then it became one of my favorites. It was very strange. <laughs> Another great line is when, when they fake Guile's death and he's, oh. he's like, he's like, no, I mourn. Okay. <laughs> that's great news, General. Congratulations. On the contrary, I mourn. Okay. What I liked about that, or like found funny about that, is like he he's all the way in the morgue. He's laying there. Like oh, it's for so how, it's so for, ridiculous. For how long? <laughs> Why would the transponder thing be in the morgue? Like, Why would he be yeah, laying under a sheet? Just to like deliver it's the cold. line. It's cold. It's so funny. And he had, j j just to deliver the line to like own her verbally. I was yeah. gonna give you an interview before. Why would I give you an? In I can't even do his vocal cadence. It's so weird. Yeah, it's um, very strange. Yeah. The muscles from Brussels, you see. If I didn't give you an interview when I was alive, no way I'm gonna do it when I'm dead. There's a point when it, when he does the flex with the arm where I'm like, damn, he has more muscles than I thought he did. Oh yeah, definitely uh, like you know a strong dude. Crazy. And yeah, I think a man can work out for 28 hours straight for all that coke. 28 hours a day. Yeah, <laughs> with all the coke, because coke bends time and space, and you can. Do more I did things. see some things like behind the scenes where he didn't seem like a crazy dick. He was like yeah, he was fine. like coaching, uh, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, Ken and Ryu, like oh, wow. like how to do a scene. He's like, oh no, you're gonna want to do this, but you gotta sell it by putting your head go like this when he goes like that. Do you feel confident in that punch? Like he was doing these things, and I was, I was like, okay. Control that, can you control? Yeah, let me see. They don't touch, so, or if not, no. It's not, okay, so it's, it's kind of nice because the camera is there and then you go like, and you have to go with the impact. Like, oh, and like, yeah. you go on the floor and something. That's I'm awesome. Like, I'm like, cool, because uh, they, they did all their yeah. stunts, had to get talked through and like, you know, worked out right before they shot. There was yes. no training before any of them. I was, I was like, oh shit. It shows. It, it um. really does show, <laughs> but it, it also, as a kid, I yeah. didn't go, oh, what are these shitty fight scenes? So like, it worked. No, especially like, for yeah. the '90s. As a comedy, it works most mm -hmm. definitely. Which it most definitely mu it must be a comedy. Yeah, it can't not be a comedy. But I find that really heartwarming. The idea that uh, Jean Claude is is in the back, like, no, 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 keep your shoulder up. No, it sells better. And he's like telling them, yeah. I'm like, ah, it's, that's like, hmm, that's gonna be a warm feeling. Because I don't know who Kenan uh, Kenan and, and 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 Ryu are. That's that's insane to me. What I've the, seen both of them in movies. Yeah, before. but like, they're such generic. There's these two guys in the film, Ken and Ryu. Like the one guy looks kind of familiar. Ryu does kind of look like somebody. But he like was in Ken, some I show I watched like, recently, you? and I couldn't figure out no, what he, it was. He has, he has a lot of IMDb credits, mm -hmm. and, and I think voice acting too is one of those people. Whatever. John Lee's Mulan. Like, there's a lot of people who have been yeah. in a lot of stuff. It's crazy. But but yeah, she was in ER. Okay. Your favorite show? Uh, I, I I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but the, the uh, George Clooney years. Yeah. But uh, but Ken, I I was like, oh, you look like so many of these dumb people that were in all these dumb movies. Mm. Uh, Steven Seagal probably kicked your ass in some in some you know film or whatever. One can only help. He's probably at a bar. Uh, no, in a movie, I mean. <laughs> but I mean, oh. yes. Oh no, sorry, I, I didn't mean cause, because 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 Steven Seagal can't actually kick anybody's ass. I meant in a movie. Well, because he's a cop. Well, exactly. He said, "Would you be willing to join my force?" I said, "Yes, sir." There's a a prison hand job right. joke. Honey, give me a hand. We've only been in jail two hours. Maybe next month. <laughs> Which I thought was, uh, you know, hysterical because it's like a children's movie. This was almost rated PG, but the director's like, nah, man, that's a kiss of death. We can't be rated PG. We need to be rated PG-13 or else no one's going to want to see this. Oh, shit. This after they edited away from an R, mind you. So there's there's some stuff on the floor that would have made this an R-rated movie, which I, I'm like, Vinegar Syndrome, get it. <laughs> Put Please, it out. Please, I want to see. I, I would love to know what that is. They, oh. got, they went from G to the PG-13 by in post having uh, Guile say some curse words, which some of them do sound a little out of place. Four years of ROTC for this shit. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, yeah. they do. Because it'll cut and he's on the radio or something, I think, at one yeah. point, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think Vega has no lines, but they dub one in as like a joke. Vega, where were we? Just to be like, he can't mm. have no lines. I don't know. Yeah, does Vega say anything? He doesn't say anything that's not him behind his mask going like, oh, we'll see about that. It's some, yeah. But it's like very out of yeah, place. Yeah, that man's like ridiculously handsome. Yes, like, no, he's like he's a, like a marble cut yeah. god man. He's like, like, a, he's like a weird mm. matador from some other dimension. Yeah. yeah. I would have liked them to show more of, so like they push his face into like the furnace and like, you know, it mars you, his beautiful but face, never but you never really his, see it. Uh, you yeah, expect like that, like that symbol that's kind of cut into the thing to be like yeah. burned into him, even though that's not exactly how it would work, but you kind of think that's what it would happen. No, but that's what you want is like, he was so vain and he, and, yeah. and he like wore the mask to like protect his beautiful face. Yeah. And now he's a man destroyed who must wear the mask to hide his shame of what's been, been, nice. you know, been lost. Something. You know, if you, if you're going to make a sequel, but yeah. no, <laughs> we don't get that. They, I read something, and I don't know how true it is, but they said like the the fight between the two of them with like the machete was like a real machete, ah. and they did not have nearly enough training <laughs> time to make <laughs> that safe. <laughs> but they did it. <laughs> when he like throws it or whatever, the, that or the, whole or business or, or, or I, the previous fight. I no 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 because like they don't use the weapons when like the actors do it. Yeah right? yeah. You know, like like for real. So mm -hmm. I could see that. Or like we don't have a fake machete. Yeah. Ah, we'll just throw it above them. But there was a fight before that where Vega is fighting with them. You know with the guys. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't catch it exactly because I was like, wait, when does that happen? But I was like, oh, okay. There's probably a bunch of tidbits like that from this. Right? Yeah, really and it could even be something that got thing. cut out. I, yeah. I mean, who's to say? But I, I do love the idea that they're making this dude fight with actual machetes because, fuck it, we're in Thailand. Hurry right, up. Guys. Yeah. Which, like, yeah, a lot of this was filmed on location. I think I think China paid for half of this movie's oh. budget or, or Japan. Some, somebody, some foreign nation paid for half the movie's budget. And, like, that big compound scene is in, like, Bangkok or something like that. And yeah, they wouldn't I mean, clear uh, them to have airplanes. It was supposed to be, like, a giant air assault. And oh. they're like, you can use boats. And they're like, oh, boats it is. And that, that An attack from the air is impossible. That's how the boats happen. Go up the river. And I think the boats yeah. actually look kind of cooler. No, the well, and like them loading on, that whole sequence with mm -hmm. like the U, the, the fake UN guy. Yeah, the AN. He's like, oh, you, you mustn't do this. And he's like, you're going to do that? Or you're going to come with me and commit a war crime? And they're all like, woo! Yeah. No, who wants to go home? And who wants to go with me? And every single person like, hell yeah, like at least half the military good. would be like, I can leave now? I'll go home now. Wait, what? Fuck this? What are you talking about? I just signed up to get college paid for. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to die. But they're all shouting. And you do, like, it's really interesting because, uh, it. and I'm just going to, you know, say China, maybe I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. But it has the vibe because now you make a movie and it's like, oh, they had to do this for China or something. But this, yeah. this feels almost like that. There's a, like, like a bunch of the random faces that, you know, that it cuts to look like, oh, this is like, you just had to put Chinese people into the movie and stuff. I'm going to get on my boat and I'm going up river. And I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass. Who is it? Because China owned Capcom? Who owns Capcom? Oh, well, I think all that's Japan. I have no idea, though. Maybe it's Japan. Me. I don't remember. Um, I read it. In one ear, out the other. Listen, China's the big one now, so that's just what I'm projecting on. When, sure. When you see a movie now, it's going to cut to a random dude who's a Chinese dude, and then I go, who's that? But then in China, they're like, oh, it's that guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And like, this almost feels like that, but it was made so long ago that it can't possibly have been that. Is yeah, I don't point. think so. Yeah. But, uh, but neat. It, certainly. More behind the scenes. Kono. Yes? A single boat against everything he's got? The pilot would have to be out of his mind. Why are you wearing that headband? I'm a Cherokee. Oh, <laughs> no, but that made me wonder, like, there must be a cut scene earlier on. Yeah, Tihok, watch with the headband. It's Cherokee. I wear it for good luck in battle. Should have brought three of them. Because that guy's to, bandage is slowly changing in every scene he's in. They had to patch something up there. Yeah, they, we know where they dub in. Like, oh, you're by you're by this wall, and you just go like, why are you wearing that headband? <laughs> Some dumb yeah. thing like that. So and fun. I pictured so the moment he's in the boat, he like pops in like a little mini DV tape, and he sees like a video of like, oh my like, God. him and his wife or oh. something. And I think that that's the other guy, the one that has the head injury, is the other guy at the table. I think so. I could be wrong. And I pictured I thought it was Blanca. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, no, that makes I'm more sense. I'm going to get you, Charlie. That makes more sense. My, my, my thought, <laughs> thought was going to be, the other guy, like, yeah, like oh, friends. an explosion must have happened, killed his wife, injured that guy. They didn't show it, though, because that would make it rated R, and that's what, how all this stuff happened. But no, it's definitely Blanca. It's so dumb that this whole dumb thing with... I don't think that's even anything to do with Blanca's origin at all. I think he was he came from, like, the jungle of Brazil or something. He just comes from somewhere. Mm. I don't... I don't, I don't rem I'm not the expert, really. I just was whatever. But, I, I yeah. do have some memory of him being spliced with a bunch of animal DNA. DNA and like one of them is on. the electric eel or something, but oh, yeah. I could have made that up. Right.
Something I remember. Happened. I don't think Bison like did it to him though. I don't think that that's the main. You know, a, a lot of things just had to get kind of you know form factor. Oh, I, I do yeah. like give them credit for for, for being able to swing to all to these that, things yeah. into one movie because it's a lot of random ass characters and, and they yeah. do make it happen. That's really the problem with any of these things is you have to establish like we're the good guys and they're the bad guys mm -hmm. and they're like a faction apart and whatever and and really in the games everyone fights everyone and it makes no yeah. sense. So it's like ah, you kind of have to come up with a way of it being a giant tournament. Yeah. <laughs> For and like sense. there are a lot of 90s tournament based movies that they could have just kind of swung into yeah, another fine. thing. But I think knowing that like you have the, the Mortal Kombat one like you know right on their heels you're like okay yeah. we, we, we know they're going to make a tournament because th what else are they going to do? They can't do anything else presumably. Well, uh, I'm sure they have spies, little video game spies. I mean, like you make you basically you, like you make the same movie, except Bison has kidnapped you and he's forcing you. I'm going to kill everyone. I'm going to drop Wakanda into the earth and kill everyone unless you all fight for me. Is this a joke? This money isn't worth the paper it's printed on. On the contrary. I really enjoy the Bison Bucks in the movie. Yeah. I feel like that, like, I think I was just old enough to really appreciate that joke and I felt really good about myself mm. for, like, how dumb and, like, ridiculous. Because uh, when, you're, when you're a certain age, you're like, what is money? I don't even know. I know I know we don't have enough. That's it, right? But I think, like, when he's like, I will kidnap their queen and it will be worth five British pounds. And he's, yeah. and he's like, you psycho moron! No! I wanted money! And he's like, well, so yeah, because that won't work. Exactly. Uh, even if the queen is, is, is valuable enough for them to make a trade like that, you can't, that would, their, their economy would fall to nothing. Like, that doesn't work. You can't do Who that. Knows? It's crazy. But I like this Especially idea. You can just print as many as you want. I like the idea that, that he was banking on that, where he pays mm -hmm. everyone in Bison Bucks, and then that gets them to stay with him to try to win and all that. It's mm -hmm. really, it's really funny to me. For at least some point in time, he had to be paying people in real money because he said all the corporations are on his side. Technology of East and West. While their governments scorned me, the corporations adored me. And you can't be paying them with fake little. They haven't money. checked the symbol next to the balance says Bison Bucks double B. <laughs> <laughs> you fools! Hell no, Jedi. When Jean Claude Van Damme comes up out of Blanca's little like cryogenic tube thing and kicks at like you know I don't know what that would be like a seventy degree angle straight out into Bison, I was like, okay, he's a superhero. That's what I call cinema. Love it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of those fun moments like that in the movie, where you're like, okay. One of the only jokes is when he pulls out his knife and they all go like, what? Yeah. It's... <laughs> Very like, Star that's Wars another, did that, right? that's, that's not a joke that yeah. I've seen in a hundred things, but this is probably the first time I saw it. Oh no, Star Wars did that, I think? No? I'm making that up? What was it in Star Wars? No idea. It just feels Star Warsy to me. I picture something with Han Solo. It's definitely Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. But that's funny, because like Jean-Claude Van Damme actually pulls that off. And I make fun of him a lot, but mm -hmm. like he was able to do that. That's why I'm like, just don't talk, or talk less. Talk, yeah. talk differently, God. But, but he's able to pull off all, all the different faces you needed to make that work. And I was like, yeah. good job, man. Yeah, you blow enough coke at someone, they'll make all the faces, you just pick the ones you want. And you cut them together in post yeah. and do the whole thing. Eh, that's totally how they make movies now. Just feed the robot enough coke, gives you all the faces you need. Colonel, are you all right? I'm okay. I'm just half dead. And Bison? All dead. Like, oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? I guess you didn't see that one. When he's like yeah, roasting yeah. him? Oh my god. I guess you didn't see that, did you? That's a great scene when they walk in and the whole party's already faced off and they're like, hey, hey, hey buddy, y'all come on. And they're trying to like yeah. sweet talk a little. That, that was very 90s action. Good For sure, how you just somehow don't see any. Like yeah. there's a whole lot of that. Like like our fucking, uh, our eye-patched friend is sitting in the back, like, you know, he has his back to the cab of the, their escape vehicle. Yeah. Yet somehow he sees uh, Ken shoot Guile. And you're like, wait a minute. You are like eight to 12 feet back aiming this way while, while, while Ken is hanging outside of the vehicle shooting that way and he's like, I thought, all right. Almost as ridiculous as Guile driving a missile launcher into a fight club. <laughs> You're all under arrest. 
Yeah. You're all under arrest. Yeah, the movie has it all. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Cut. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Game over! Competition, now it's only us. Our expert staff opinion.